Now clear the whole side, all right? Uh, we're going to have some trouble with the algae in that thing. Frankly, I don't think he cleans it well enough. You always say that. No, it's good. You being here again. It's good. Well, it brings back memories. Well, you're looking tired, Caroline. You getting enough sleep? Uh, nightmares. Did I get to rescue you from the dragon this time? You usually did. So, prospect of marriage is that bad, huh? No. No doubts. Dad, I'd really like it if Lisa could come to the wedding. Have you spoken to her? No, I, uh, I wrote to her, but I haven't received an answer. Wow. You know what she's like? She's not very good at social occasions. I don't think that she would fit in. Dad, I'd really like it if she could come. It would make me happy. All right, all right. You go ahead and phone her if you like. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Thank you very much. KGFM from Boston. The time is 8.22. Weather is fine. We're coming bright later on. Traffic's running free and Boston Airport says no flight delays expected. Slowing up. You've got to take it easy at your age. Careful, Jimmy. I'm in a kitchen knife mode, if you know what I mean. Remember? Give me your hand. Uh-uh. This hand is moist, my lady. This argues fruitfulness and liberal heart. Hot, hot and moist. Ooh. This hand of yours requires a sequester from liberty. Fasting and much prayer, much castigation, exercise devout, for there is a young and sweating devil here that commonly rebels. Ooh. It is a good hand, a frank one. Music? No! My noble father, I do perceive here a divided duty. To you, I am bound for life and education. My life and education both learn me how to respect you. You are lord of all my duty. I am hitherto your daughter. But here's my husband. And so much duty as my mother showed to you, preferring you before her father, so much I challenge that I may profess Due to the more, my lord. 
She's being ironical, right? <laughs> no, not at all. She's being very straightforward, very honest. I, I know, I know, but uh, I mean, her, her father walks all over and her husband's just gonna take over where he left off. I, I, I know this is Shakespeare, but I mean, Des Desdemona, she's, she's such a wimp, I... You were very good, Lisa. Thank you. I'm sorry. Sarah. My noble father, I do perceive here a divided duty. To you, I am bound for life and education. My life and education both do learn me how to respect you. You are lord of all my duty. I am hitherto your daughter. But here is my husband. And so much duty as my mother showed to you, preferring you before her father, so much I challenge that I may profess due to the more, my lord. Stuff just isn't for you, that's all. Lisa, Desdemona is Desdemona. Desdemona isn't Lisa, all right? Yeah, I ain't one Soho. I'll see you later. What? What did I say? Oi! Off you arsehole! Where's your wife? Eyes, Lisa, eyes. Here you are. Hope you enjoy it. Yours right out. It's a call for you, Lisa. My bleeding dog wouldn't need that, Mr. Chef. What are you trying to tell? I tell you this. You serve it up like that again, I'll make bloody sure that he eats you. It be short, Lisa. Yes? Yes, of course. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. Try Saturday night next time. We're even busier. rehearsal. The director said that I was brilliant. Then I went to that sweet little Italian place, you know the one, with the exquisite food and the helpful staff. Well, to top it all off, I get this cab driver who comes on to me. Well, the only way that I can get rid of him is to tell him that I am on my way to meet my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Darling Lisa, you don't have to pretend with me. We're kids again. Lisa rocks the boat. It turns over. I hear water, and then I see a body. It's a woman's body. I look at the face, and it's Lisa. Hey, it's undone. Just like they say. Tell a dream. And you make, make it, it safe. How's the job, Michael? 
Busy. Two total knees, a hip, a broken um, collarbone, and a brain tumor. Hey, you're on your way up. Brain surgery? We're talking Caribbean honeymoons here, eh? Thanks, Max. See you, Caroline. Got you to myself now. Uh -huh. I was thinking of going to London to visit Lisa for a while. Oh, yeah, visit Lisa? Yeah, all right. Yeah. London a couple days, sure. We'll make it like a honeymoon. Right after the wedding. I was thinking before. Before? Take a moment and relax, it'll be okay. I have to see Lisa. She needs me. You don't know that. I feel that. Well, you can't go to London and back. The wedding's next Saturday. I have to. Caroline? Caroline? Since when does Lisa matter this much to you? Since now. I'm not going to pretend that I understand. Will you take me home? Will I see you on Thursday? Uh, no, darling, not on Thursday. Thursday, I've got a dinner, and then on Friday, I've got the charity premiere, and of course, tomorrow, I have to be in the country for the christening. I'll have to check my mailbox. See if I've got any invitations. I'd love to see your face. <laughs> Je m'appelle Marie-Claire Brio. J'ai 25 ans. Je suis secrétaire de direction trilingue, français, anglais, espagnol, spécialisée dans l'industrie agroalimentaire. Je suis à Biarritz où je travaille. Hola, me llamo Rosa Pinillos y he nacido en Madrid, España. Mi educación ha sido en España hasta los 18 años. Ahora tengo 23. Assalamu alaikum. Mira na Yasmin Khan hai. Mera janam Lahore, Pakistan mein se ga. Ben oui, ou Zoe Zavia. Reception, 10 minutes. Oui. Is our little uh, conference over then? Just 10 minutes more. You know the rules. Whose rules? Her rules? Our rules, Lisa. Mm. Everything has its limits, remember? Darling, we've been through this so many times before. Please try to understand. Lisa, look at me. Look at me. No. I want something real. This is real, Lisa. Us. It's for a couple of hours, and then I have to go. I love you, too.
grabs only count. Now be a good boy and take the rest of the night off. Come here, you bastard! I love you! Where are you? Have a nice time. What's that on your face? Dog's blood. <laughs> I've been waiting. I don't need this, Jimmy. Mm -mm. Very smart. They got new uniforms at that place or something. I want to be alone tonight, okay? I'm not feeling You're feeling much. ill. I know. That's what they said. You had to go home. I was very worried. Just go, Jimmy. Where have you been? Hey, what have you been doing? Get out! I saw you. I watched you. Can't keep away from it, can you? What does he do? You watch me. What does he do that makes you so hungry for it all the time? You're killing me.
be my wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward for richer or for poorer to have and to hold. I'm Michael Gray taking care of my booth to my wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward. What do you say he was? A traffic cop. A cop? Well, here goes a little behavioral modification. <laughs> Gold and silver I be give with my body I be nursing. Michael, could you cut the dirty stuff, please? Some of us are trying to work around here. Last one. In and out, in and out. She never sleeps, that one. What a pleasure. A state visit. I'm honored, Your Majesty. No, I'm sorry. I know what you're thinking, but I'm not her. I'm not Lisa. Oh, right. I'm her sister. We're twins. That's amazing. I didn't know. I can see now. I'm looking for her. Does she work here? She felt sick last night. She went home. Is there some sort of trouble? Oh, no, no, not at all. Thank you so much. Listen, I if I can help in any way. Thank you. Uh, Lisa and me. We knew each other, you know. I brought a new girl there. There's nothing for you here. I want a word with your husband. He doesn't want to see you. He doesn't want to speak we to you. We have an arrangement. I dissolve it now. This is my home. You're trespassing. Get out now. <laughs> this is your mess. You clean it up. Lisa, what are you doing here? I wanted 
to speak to you. Yes, but we can't speak here. There's a boathouse down by the river, and I'll meet you there in half an hour. Now, do as I say, right? of water, please. Water? A penance, I approve. Take the vows. It's the only way, believe me. Leave the world behind. Now, nah, go on. What are you doing? Senior, I, I, I just know. I go. I need you. No, it's, it's nothing. I'm all right. I just want you to come now. Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Can, can you wait a second? Just one second. Training him up. What is she, a drowner? Looks like. Drowned her sorrows a bit too deep. Will the driver meeting Mr. O'Connor on the Boston flight BA 426 
There'll be the opening of the inquest, sir. Then the wait for the post-mortem. Uh, just a formality, you understand? The embalming usually takes a day. You'll be able to get her back to the States as soon as all the formalities are. Caroline, don't be scared. I need you. You can't run away this time. Lisa was. How it's gonna end this way. Be a couple days and we'll take her home. I'm gonna go to London. The details we need to take care of here first. Can you take care of them?
I was just wondering if uh, you had anything for me. I don't have all day. Name? Booth. Lisa Booth. I said I don't have all day. Right. You've been here a few days. Wait a minute. Oh, I know, I know. Interest rates and all this euro nonsense. No, no, no. Quite right. Oh, our times, our times. Now, where's it got to? It was a cancellation. We're meant to be going computerised. <laughs> oh, yes, here it is. Three girls, last minute cancellation. Measles, I think it was. Nothing too glamorous, I'm afraid. But then nothing you couldn't handle, I'm sure. <laughs> Greek showers. Greek showers? Mm. I'll take it. You will? Oh, good. Sure. Ma stiglia che non è
Well, no, you wouldn't, would you, Sandra? You're not very observant, are you? Come on, you lot. Aren't you ready yet? Hey, you better get a move on. He's getting really ratty out there. Come on, make way for the girl. OK, Lisa, in the bath, love, yeah? In the bath with you, Lisa. That's lovely. OK? Now, trick to Sandra's back, will you? That's lovely, lovely. Lisa, get hold of that hose. That's it, get hold of it. That's it, love. That's it, lovely. Don't, don't worry. Come on, relax a little bit. That's it, dear. Come on, girls. Enjoy yourself. Lovely, lovely. Let's get a few more. That's wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Lisa, for God's sake, give us a spa, will you? That's beautiful. Keep it going. That's wonderful. Lisa, come on, darling. Give us a bit of the old magic. That's lovely. Oh, let's spray it all over. Come on, splash it all over. That's it, girl. I haven't seen him around in days. What are you doing with him? The artiste. Oh, the artiste. Tonight, of all nights, he needs a bit of my uh, special medicine. Special medicine? Well, I'll make sure that he gets it. Yeah, well, um... So long as everything's okay between you. I'm never better. Listen, you are going tonight, aren't you? Yes. Of course you are. But you do that. You go and see him, right? And everything will be okay. He could never say no to you. Sorry. Can I help you? 
You're Lisa Booth's sister. Can I ask you who you are and what you're doing here? Oh. I own this apartment. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I thought that... That's quite all right. I understand. Difficult times for you. Forgive me, but you look so like Lisa. We're twins. I didn't know she had a sister. Did Lisa run from you? Yes, from my agency. My name is Claire Bernard. Carolyn. We had an arrangement with your sister, and she had the use of this apartment. There's someone here right now. Well, what kind of a problem? Well, how long would they need? Sure. Sure. Me too. Bye. You must stay here until you've completed everything. Thank you. Thank you. Is a week enough? How well did you know my sister? Did you really know Lisa? Well, our relationship was purely a business one, you see. This is my card, in case there is anything. I must go. What I did know of Lisa, I liked very much. I would have liked to know her more. Au revoir, Caroline. Au revoir. It's been nice meeting you. My lord, you know that I love you. I think thou dost. And weighs thy words before thou gives them breath. For Michael Cassio, I dare presume. I think that he is honest. Thou dost conspire against thy friend, Iago. It were not for your quiet, nor your good, nor for my manhood, honesty, or wisdom to let you know my thoughts. What dost thou mean? Good name in man and woman's dear, my lord, is the immediate jewel of our souls. Who steals my purse steals trash. To something. Nothing. T towards mine, tis his, and has been slave to thousands. But he that filches from me my good name robs me of that which not enriches him, and makes me poor indeed. By heaven I'll know thy thoughts. You cannot! While my heart were in your hand, nor shall not, while tis in my custody. <sighs> oh, beware, my lord, of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock that meat it feeds on. That cuckold lives in bliss, who, certain of his fate, loves not his wronger. But, oh, what damned minutes tells he o'er who dotes, yet doubts, suspects, yet strongly loves. Oh, misery. friends again I brought you your special medicine Jimmy you know me do yeah <laughs> well I know you I know you Caroline I've heard all about you now, if you finish playing your sick, sick games, why don't you just get the hell out of here? Go home, Yank!
right, Jimmy. So, uh, which one do you fancy, then? Troll Whitey, if I was you. He's a nice dog. No, man, he's a pussy. Give me the other one. Caroline? Michael. Hi. You want to come up? Yes. Coffee? Yeah, sure. You're like this. What? This. What's that? I don't think you being here is a good idea. Don't you? They found bruising around her neck. Some doubt as to whether she drowned or not. Lisa may have been murdered. Yeah. Booked us into a hotel around the corner from here. We can stay there. We have to move Lisa's things out of here. I'm fine here, really. I don't think it's a good idea. Michael, I think I can decide what's good for me or not. You've been very patient and supportive. I, I, I can't understand this myself, and I can't explain. I just need to be here, alone. Yeah, well, just make sure you call if you need anything.
calling Ruth. I called. Mademoiselle Bouze vient juste d'arriver à la réception. Bien. Tout de suite, madame. I'll show you it. Hello, Miss Booth. How nice to see you again. I'll be right with you. These young women work as personal assistants. Simply, they're the best. They are presentable, multilingual, and discreet. If a firm or even a government is negotiating at the very highest level, then these women can be relied upon for their discretion and intelligence. But that wasn't Lisa. Some Japanese are very fond of young American assistants. Madame Bernard, I, I love Lisa, but she, she couldn't speak French or any language, and no one would describe her as discreet. Then perhaps she was capable of rather more than you think. Lisa was more special than any of them. Her qualities were noticed and requested by a most discerning party. My husband. My husband has weakness for young girls. I arranged for him to meet Lisa. I allowed that to be possible. I do whatever is necessary to preserve a certain equilibrium in my life. The intimate details of these liaisons do not interest me. But Lisa is dead. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. Lisa became very important to both of us. My husband doesn't know about Lisa's death. He's still waiting. I want to speak to him. I understand. You want to know about Lisa? You want to discover her life? Yes. Well, if you want to know about my husband and your sister, you can. But you do it on my terms. Leave it to me. Aren't you scared? Just a little bit. I want to know everything about her. Come on! She used to like it like this. Taking me, Jimmy. Lisa was special. She was up for anything, anything. She said yes every time. Now, could you do that? Could you jump first and then look back and laugh at the drop? That identical twin bit. She was better looking than you. You just haven't got her style. Jimmy? All right, mate? Yeah. Likes you, Ralph, does she? Yeah. Where's the party? Just over here.
to watch her laughing and drinking with those animals. People who had this, this natural arrogance. People who had a God-given right to have no worries. People who never got scared. And Lisa, Lisa went with them to their parties and their restaurant and their places in the country. She was with them when she died. And it was those bastards. Those smart bastards who buy anything and anyone. They killed her. They killed Lisa. Jimmy, I need your help. I must find those people who were with Lisa when she died.
Special delivery, madam. Uh, what do I owe you? That's been taken care of. Thank you. Grown up, we'll each have to marry a prince. No, we won't, stupid. We're different. We're each going to marry Mr. Perfect. Who's Mr. Perfect? He's a wonderful man who lives in a beautiful castle in the middle of a forest, millions of miles away. But how are we going to find him? I'll find him, Caroline. Just wait. I'll cross the sea and travel through the forest. Go to his castle. Yeah, but what about me, Lisa? You'll stay here. And when I found him, I'll call you. But I'll be scared. No, you won't, stupid. We'll be grown up then. You won't get scared anymore. Michael. Uh, come, come in. I'm worried about you. I'm okay. What are you up to? Nothing. I'm just uh, cleaning up. Didn't return any of my phone calls. Are you avoiding me? You want to tell me who that was last night? That was Jimmy. He's a friend of Lisa's. Have you been spying on me? Is this you? What happened to you? Look at what you're wearing. You've got a decision to make here. You can go around parading as Lisa, or you can come back and be married on Saturday. Michael, I need more time. No! Something is going on here. Something's wrong. I want you to tell me where you've been. What are you doing? I really think that you should leave. Show me. Get out! I don't know what you think you're doing, but you get yourself together. I'm gone for good.
Boyfriend. She's gone to a party in the country, pal. Didn't she invite you along? Tell me what's going on between you and Caroline. I think your fiance's got a taste for it, pal. The high life, the world of clandestine meetings. It can happen to the nicest of girls. How does it feel? Burns inside, doesn't it? She may be in trouble. She may get hurt. Tell me if you know where she is. No way. Mr. Perfect. I'll find him, Caroline. Just wait. I'll cross the sea and travel through the forest, go to his castle. Yeah, but what about me, Lisa? You'll stay here. And when I find him, I'll call you. But I'll be scared. No, you won't, stupid. We'll be grown up then. You won't be scared anymore. Not here. Never here. I wanted to see you. I needed to see you. Well, wait, what happened? I went to the boathouse for our meeting as we arranged. I needed to think. It took some time. Were you worried? I said don't struggle. Coming up on a junction. Tell me which way. about those people. Which I knew way? she was going to get hurt. I'll tell you, someone should flipping sort them out. Sort tell me which way! Sort them out! Which way? She dies in the end. You know that, don't you? My grandson's christening. There I am, surrounded by my entire family, and you walk in, demanding attention. What do you expect? What did you think I would do? Everything has its limits, Lisa. You step outside, you freeze to death. It's cold. Look at me. Look at me. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not a child. 
Why are you here? I want more than two hours a week in a hotel room when you feel like it. I always go along with it. Call Lisa. She's available. She's free. She'll come running. That isn't us now. Yes, it is. Ask your wife. They're her limits, not ours. I don't believe that's what you want. You're asking me to burn every bridge, and I'm not a young man. Will you Wait. listen to me? My life is a mess. I know it is. It's always been that way. But there is one corner of my life, one corner where I feel safe, and that's with you. I love you. I love you, too. When I look at the fast that I've made out of my life, there's only you. And when we're together, we're home, we're safe, and everything's all right. She's not, Lisa. She's her twin. Stop making a fool of yourself. It's over, Caroline. Please, leave us now. I'm afraid there's nothing more for you here. Lisa's dead. Her body was found in the river after the christening. It's just my very own. Know where it is, now drop me off. Listen, I don't want to go anywhere near those people. I don't care about your problems, Jimmy. You're helping me get Caroline out of this, whether you like it or not. Put out the light, and then put out the light. Waiting for you. You've been sneaking about again, haven't you? Seeing people, screwing people. I told you, Lisa. I warned you, babe. I'm not Lisa. You ain't gonna leave me now! Always running somewhere, ain't you, doll? Jimmy and Lisa. Forever. I'm Caroline. Look at me. I'm Caroline. No! So where are you going, Lisa? I'll tell you where you're going. Nowhere! Stay with me! Trust me. Trust me! Going to hell. And I'm coming with you. Lisa! Lisa!
Caroline. You can take me home now. 